I'm going to do a review on the Franzis radio kit that I actually ordered from eBay. Uh, this particular radio kit can be obtained from eBay or you can order it directly from Germany where it is manufactured. It's made by a company called Franzis, F-R-A-N-Z-I-S, and it's actually a publishing company that comes out with build kits. They have an FM radio kit, and they also have several kits where you can build uh, German car engines if you're so inclined. So it's kind of an interesting company. Um, this this particular kit is, is interesting for a couple of reasons. It's supposedly to teach you about and show you how tube radios work. So if you look carefully, and I'll try to zoom in a bit here, it actually has one operating tube. And if I'm hoping it shows up on video, you can actually see that tube is glowing just a bit because I do have the radio on. And I don't think I have any other tube devices that I currently own. So this is the on off switch. And it actually also, of course, turns the tube on. And it's unusual that you had have a radio uh, operate on batteries and also have a tube because they take quite a bit of electricity and voltage to work. So the way they designed this radio was with two sets of batteries. So as we look into this box, and this box is, is not actually wood, it's more like a material that you would make a cigar box out of uh, that's pasteboard. And in the front, it has these nice catches that are actually little magnets. So as we, as we look inside the radio, you can see it has uh, uh, four AA batteries and they actually heat up the tube. Uh, and then it has one nine volt battery that does the actual radio operations. And it's a bit of a hybrid because the amplifier is a small integrated circuit. So it doesn't use the more traditional circuitry that was used uh, to operate an amplifier, which would have been more than one tube. The tube in this particular radio is actually helping tune in on the frequency that you want. This is a shortwave radio, um, and it receives frequencies from approximately about 1,000 to, well, actually 2,000 to about 20,000 is what it says on the little dial here, actually 3,500, I'm sorry, to 12,000 is what it tunes. Um, I will tell you, honestly, this is not going to compare in performance to a modern radio with an integrated circuit tuning and uh, digital readout and all of those things. The sensitivity of those kinds of modern receivers from companies like Texun or CC Crane are just not going to uh, you know, this radio is not going to compete with that. It's really not the purpose of this radio. It is, however, very fun to operate. You have this nice big knob here on the front, which is great to tune in the frequencies, you know, very carefully. You have this nice clicky on off switch. And then you have over here, your uh, what is essentially a fine tuning switch or really it's a beat frequency oscillator or a BFO switch that allows you to fine tune frequencies. And not only does this radio receive broadcast shortwave stations, and there still are a few out there. Um, I've received Romania on the station. I, of course, I'm in South Florida, so Cuba is pretty easy to receive all of the Cuban stations um, and others. But it also receives ham radio on the various bands like 80 meters, 40 meters, uh, that are the popular ham bands, 20 meters. Uh, you will actually hear them even though they're on single sideband or what's called SSB. It's kind of beyond the scope of this video to explain SSB. So if you wanna learn more about that, um, you can Google it and you'll find plenty of information, but it's just a slightly different broadcast mode. Now, of course, shortwave radio uses amplitude modulation or AM, uh, the type of way it does signals because they are better at traveling farther than an FM type of radio broadcast. So um, as I mentioned, it's a kit, so it comes with everything that you need. It comes with these knobs, which are really nice quality knobs. It, it These are the antenna connectors. So 
uh, antenna connector A has the highest gain or it amplifies the signal the most that's coming in and then you have two more that are slightly less amplified. And the red one is your ground for your antenna. If you really wanna make a complete circuit for an antenna, it has a ground selector, a ground switch there. It comes with these little banana plugs that you can uh, you know, use your own or uh, however you wanna do these with the little banana plugs. It comes with those to just plug in here uh, easily and then easily disconnect it after you're done. So let's go ahead and look inside the radio. And uh, I mentioned uh, the batteries and I also, this is the instruction manual uh, and it was really nice. It's illustrated with photographs. It's very, very descriptive. However, it is in German. Uh, that wasn't a problem for me uh, because uh, I'm of German heritage, so I could understand it. it was a little bit of a challenge. I had to look up a few words. But this manual is also available in English uh, on the internet. You can find a PDF with all the instructions in English, um, not being mean to any particular countries, but it's quite different than a lot of the Asian manuals that I've tried to deal with in building projects. So let's take a look at the actual guts of the radio, if you will, and I'll point out a few things. It's kind of ingenious the way they designed this uh, because uh, this is actually these little paper holders is what the speaker is held in with and also what is holding the tube. Um, I did, it came with some wire to make your own wires, but I wanted mine color coded. So I did my own little pieces of wire. I think you needed like 16 pieces of wire and it tells you to the exact centimeter of what the length of these wires should be. This is the, the tuning capacitor up here. That's what's actually connected to the big knob on the other side. Um, and this is a hybrid design. So it's not all using old fashioned 30s or 40s technology. It does have a modern, if you wanna call it that, integrated circuit, although they're over 50, 60 years old now. It does have an integrated circuit um, and transistors for the amplifier um, that it uses. The board is, is actually pretty tiny. It was a challenge to work on this. It wasn't, this is not what I would call a beginner's kit. Um, if a kid uh, were to build this, they would, I would think, need some help from an adult. Um, and just as an aside, I would uh, connect some of these wires before I had mounted the board, because it's a tricky thing to get the tube lined up and also this tuning capacitor and get everything perfectly lined up to fit in the case. And then I had to solder the wires on while it was in the case, and I found that a little bit tricky. Um, the other modification that I did on this project was I, I lengthened the battery connector so that the box could stay open and I could show you it like this. And then I just put this little uh, holder here for the wires uh, because this, this particular wire kept getting outside of the case, the little battery connector. So those are the only things I just used a little, uh, you know, little twist tie thing here, little zip tie to hold my wires. Uh, very nice. And these are the battery connectors that you see on the other, or the, I'm sorry, the antenna connectors that you see on the other side. It's a good quality speaker. Um, this radio has good sound. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And I'll do another video actually demonstrating it uh, in the evening uh, because you'll get a lot more shortwave stations in the evening. So uh, for the money, uh, this is selling right now, at least it was before Christmas of 2021. It was selling for about 20 euros from Conrad.de, which is a popular uh, electronics site in Germany. I don't know what the shipping is. I paid more than that, but it was a US seller. And um, then the shipping was a little bit faster as well. So it, it's a good afternoon build on, on this particular one. Um, these are the two, this is the on off, and then this is the the really the fine tuning knob up here on the other side and so on. And, and there's several people who have actually added additional electronic components to this to have it be, you know, be a better performer. Um, I don't really wanted to do that uh, for this particular build. I have other radios if I'm really just wanting to tune into something and, and, and get very good reception. I don't think this is going to be the radio I would use for that. 
Another suggestion though, is you, you essentially have the guts of an interesting radio and this tube. So you could really, if you're a crafty person, uh, you could make your own case very easily by just simply lengthening the wires for the antenna connectors and the little buttons here. And you could place this wherever you want, and speaker you could place. So you could really make an interesting craft radio in a wooden case or in anything. You could actually put it in a cigar box if you wanted. And if you're a woodworker and design your own case for this. Um, so there's really uh, another whole possibility there to make this radio look a little bit different than it does if you wanted to have an actual operational radio and have something interesting. And that's really because of the tube. This is a fairly common tube and it's available uh, if for some reason the tube were to burn out or something happened to it, you dropped the radio and it broke. It's it's available uh, online. Uh, it's about seven or eight dollars. So it's not an uncommon tube. It's used a lot of times in amplifiers, uh, guitar amplifiers, which many times are still tube operated because people think they sound better. I don't know if that's true or not. But um, I can recommend this highly as, a, as just a fun project if you like to build electronic things. Um, and it's a pretty good performer. And I will do a demonstration video on its actual performance in another video. Thank you for watching.